My frustration with YouTube is the the projects I'm really passionate about and feel like really good about are the ones that don't, don't get watched, yep. they don't get promoted, they don't get any revenue. And then I'll do something where I'm like, this is really stupid. Yep. I almost feel bad about posting it, and then it'll just go viral. Yep, I, I have the exact same issue, and that's you know, why you know, we're trying to do one day projects as well, because it's just like, why do we spend hundreds of hours engineering something to have it fall flat on its face? Because that's the problem. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much time you put into a project, it's how you present it and how cool it is. Yeah. Hey, do you guys remember that time Grant Thompson came to visit Hacksmith Industries? Of course you don't, because that's happening right now. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Start protecting yourself on the web today using my coupon code below and save 77% off a three-year plan. Grant, What's nice up, to James? see you. Hey, good to see you too. Uh, Welcome to the shop. Brought you some Tim Hortons. <laughs> Stop by for some Boston cream. So this is the place. Yeah, come on in. This is the uh, spy car in progress. This is legit, a spy car. You'll see that, that's the, that's the test we're doing today. I haven't seen any uh, previews of that this. That video's coming out tomorrow. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh no kidding, this is cool. Like a, a James Bond yep. type the deal. Start, the start, the start. There's gonna be a whole series of videos. I'm talking rocket launchers under the headlights, a grappling hook launcher in the grill, dispensers for tire spikes and oil slicks, and for romantic nights out, a built-in projector so you have a movie theater wherever you want. And what I'm most excited for is jet engines in the trunk. But, okay, uh, okay. We're doing so the ejection seat today. Check this out. The sleeping pod. Yeah. I recognize that. On the way here, I also noticed the train tracks and the walking yep. path. Yep. So, how you doing, man? Ian. Good to see you. I recognize you, Ian. Good to meet you guys. Okay, is this the one that you actually have to be worthy? Of? Um, this one's just really heavy. Okay. This is awesome. See, this is what I love about your workshop is like you're doing all the things that I, I wanted to do. <laughs> Still time. So I just gotta take a second to just take this all in. There's, <laughs> there is so much stuff in here, it's insane. You got like your sleeping pods up here, full on Iron Man suit, Wonder Woman suit, which I'm guessing you use for like occasional parties oh, on yeah. the weekends. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Some of this stuff I don't even recognize. I haven't played video games since Nintendo 64, <laughs> so I don't recognize half this stuff. Right? And how many Thor's hammers have you got? Because I see them out front, I see them... Uh, <laughs> I think we own about six right now, or making a few more. Oh, dude. So, yeah, try picking it up. Okay, so... Uh, feels like lead? Yep. <laughs> So that's about 75 pounds. Dude, that's uh, that's got some weight to it. it but, really um, does. That's not a one-hander for sure. You know what you need to do is almost make a set of barbells. Or, <laughs> that would be cool. Or dumbbells, you know what I mean? So, Go to the gym and work out with a Thor's hammer. Wouldn't that be the coolest thing? I mean, check that out, guys. If you're just like in the gym, just cranking this out. That actually is really heavy. What else you got? Okay, so I reckon, it's funny, I've seen a lot of your videos. So I yeah. recognize a lot of things that's all coming together. <laughs> I feel um, like, I feel like. Um, have you seen the Blitz Shield yet? Yes. I didn't see you test it though. But I so we're, we're still uh, trying to find a uh, gun range that will let us shoot it. But the neat thing with this, besides how heavy it is, oh my goodness, is we got this little dial here. So yeah. there we go. You know that reminds me <laughs> of the world's brightest flashlight. Yeah. So this is this is get this is getting up there. Like this is a uh, 16 LEDs. They're apparently 9,000 lumens each. Oh okay. Sorry, 18. So that's like 165,000 lumens, yeah. which is three times the brightness of an IMAX projector. Okay, yeah. yeah. Although an IMAX projector is much more focused and, and how, all that. How long can you run them before? Um, it's it actually not too bad. I, I think we could probably get like half an hour really? out of the battery pack or so. You, you, could, you could hack in it. Yeah, so it, it, it gets pretty warm. Like if you feel here, it's already getting a bit toasty. That's what I was wondering. Like, could you hack an LCD screen to make your own like 100 inch <laughs> projector? You, you could or probably. Or an IMAX screen for that matter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have it's heard hefty. how heavy this is. So we, we actually did take it to an airsoft game to You're try and see if it was functional. <laughs> we were able to run slightly with it, but um, <laughs> Bogdan went a bit too crazy with it and he actually tripped and fell and like flipped over it because it was so heavy. Oh. Yeah. oh goodness, yeah. Um, so that'll be in the test video That's as well. You built it out of steel? Yep. Solid steel. Did you bend it too? Bent it with Thor's hammer. Did you really? Yeah, we oh, literally, we, we put it on the table, clamped it down, and I took if, Thor's if hammer and I smacked steel, it. We, we've man, we've literally Thor's. managed to use that for like the past four projects. 
for some element of the project, we've hit a project with the hammer. You, you know what you need to do is use that as a counterweight for your flying like Iron Man project. It's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> this is his new one. Okay. Click that back. Okay. That is really cool. Yeah. I haven't actually seen the movie yet. I've, I've heard it's, it's good, good though. Yeah. I've heard it's one of the best. All right, so if you pull that, it'll extend. Ooh, that's got some weight to it too. <laughs> yep. Like Everything we make, super heavy. All right, and then if you want to go back, you just flip this the other direction and then pull the switch again. Of course I do. <laughs> I love that. Do I see a Death Star up there in the yep. top rack? So actually, come over here. So that's our Han Solo blaster. Okay. And we're planning on blowing up the Death Star with the blaster. Because <laughs> that's just a flare gun. Good for you. It shoots flares? Yep. Awesome. I would love to talk to you about legalities in Canada. <laughs> it's a bit of a gray area. I've learned a lot about legalities recently. I actually sat down with the city oh, yeah? yesterday before I flew up here. Oh, wow. I sat down with the entire city, chief of police, all the fire marshals, the risk assessment manager, the the... Uh, mayor of the city. Yeah. Uh, so I learned a lot about uh, what the city thinks is legal and what they it's, don't it's like. It's a very interesting system where like nobody knows. It's a gray area for everybody. There's no right way to do anything. It's just like, do you get caught and do you get prosecuted or not? That makes a lot of sense, so. actually. Gun began to malfunction. It would turn on when I squeezed the handle, but it wouldn't turn off when I let go. Whoa, 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 Riley! If you're gonna watch potentially dangerous stuff on YouTube, you should really be using a VPN. What's a VPN? Yes, Riley, a <laughs> VPN. In this day and age, everything you do online is being watched by someone or something, and it's super important to keep your privacy. Even if you don't think you have anything to hide, do you really want some company owning your entire browsing history? I know I don't. Luckily, we've teamed up with NordVPN, and if you use my coupon code below, you can save 77% on a three-year membership. That's only $275 a month! Plus, with up to six devices per account, you're protected on your laptop, tablet, phone, and even your desktop computer. And with over 4,000 servers in 62 countries, you can browse the web from anywhere. And NordVPN will never save or share your data. And there we go. Now you can watch all the dangerous videos on YouTube you want. Thanks. Plus, it goes without saying, you should never be doing any private work or banking on public Wi-Fi without the use of a VPN. Time to do some private banking on a public Wi-Fi network. Oh. Free Wi-Fi is the easiest way for hackers to see their personal information or money. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you got a great, great setup here. You can pretty much do everything. Yeah, let me let me show you the plasma cutter then. So yeah, this is our new baby, and we have literally used it for almost every single project since we got it. It makes everything so much easier. Um, especially would, would for this, welding. Could you this double as a water jet table also? Uh, no. Plasma only? Yeah. Did you use this for the Han Solo? Yep. So we got the Han Solo Frostmore. blaster. We've got um, Frostmourne. It's a sword we're building. Part of the Captain America shield. Um, brackets for... That explains why it's heavy. <laughs> it's like really heavy. Yeah. So I see the, the color scheme here. You got kind of <laughs> like the, the fire engine red. Yep. And the gold, is that... So that that's kind of Iron Man-y theme. Uh -huh. The render is complete. A little ostentatious, don't you think? Tell you what, throw a little hot rod red in there. Yes, that should help you keep a low profile. And then everything else is yellow and red, which is very just comic book. Okay, nice that's bright that color, bright primary colors. I'd always wondered why, and so it's like comic. Because you're very much the make it real. Yeah. You're, I would say like you probably got the handle on make it real on YouTube. I think so. It's insane. <laughs> Even the Wonder Woman lasso. <laughs> well, all you need to do is attach electrodes to the end. That does a lie detector test. True. True. Yeah. <laughs> that's very cool. And then uh, back here we have some more of our really nice equipment. This is a Tormach PCNC 440 milling machine. Um, so it's a small CNC machine. Um, Tormox has been really great to us. They've uh, given us all these machines. Okay, so I got a question for you. You, you have some pretty impressive pieces of machinery in here. Okay. Is there anything in your workshop that you don't have that you wish you had? So the plasma table was like, I keep saying it was the last piece of the puzzle, and I truly believe that because we have literally used it on like almost every single project since we got it in here, and I've wanted one for years because my very first piece of equipment that I ever bought was a CNC laser cutter, hmm. which can only do plastic and wood. But because it could do plastic and wood, um, 
it opened up so many possibilities for projects, that coupled with a 3D printer. So I saw the plasma table as the next evolutionary step where you can make stuff out of metal. Well, let's check it out upstairs. All right. Our motto. <laughs> this was a fun one. So the actual ones have started shipping. So I'll be getting my actual boring flamethrower soon. And I'm really excited because I'm, I'm just curious how he even did it. Can we expect that as a video on the Hexagon? Oh yeah, no, oh, yeah definitely. See, uh, Elon Musk <laughs> and then, then the, obviously a comparison to show that this one's much better. It is, yeah. So yeah, um, obviously this is where we film stuff. We've got one camera set up here constantly just because it's, it's easy because we always do the intros and outros here. Did you build this shop? Uh, no, so this it's shop was built back in the 80s actually. So it was actually built by a trucker. That's why it's got the huge door. Because oh, okay, you'd okay. actually pull a transport truck it in It looks here. like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah. Um, it looks pretty new. Yeah. Um, so it, it was very well bit, built. Um, we're lucky that it was in decent shape because before I bought this place, the previous owners rented it out to some rather sketchy clientele. Okay. And literally, when we got this place, it was like a hoarder's nightmare. <laughs> like, it was, it was ridiculous. There were piles of garbage everywhere, and we had to clean it all out. Um, but luckily, the bones of this place were fine, and we painted all the walls because they were pretty dirty. The ceiling's still kind of... <laughs> I, mean, uh, I remember when you started out, your wall had nothing on it except your Wolverine claws. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it now. It's insane. Are these the pans you're talking about? Yeah. From PUBG? Yeah, so we made a few mini ones to do as a giveaway. Oh, interesting. What would you say is the project you're most proud of? Um, probably the Captain America shield, the new one, because um, that was a good solid weeks of, like six weeks of design, build, and the whole team. Like I spent the first one or two weeks designing it, and then it was almost a month straight of the entire team working full time to build it. Like each of those shields probably took maybe like a hundred hours of labor at least, just in like and you've welding got three and grinding. Of them, including yeah. there's a prototype up here on the back wall. <clears throat> oh wow. Is this the railgun? This is the... Wait a minute, it's the crossbow style. Yeah, I think Oh, swamp that's water, right, you, actually, you shot a red heart rebar through like a zombie head. Yeah. Yep. Right, right. And that stayed monetized, no problem. No doubt. It did actually, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this looks familiar. I got one of these. <laughs> I actually just started using this. The Lulzbot Taz 6. Yep. Uh, this has sat in my workshop for a year and collecting dust. <laughs> just because I don't know how to do any 3D modeling or 3D mock-ups. Yeah. So I finally got into Fusion 360. Okay. I, I still feel like a beginner, but I designed a couple Lego bricks. Nice. And printed them off. And um, I've almost got them to fit together. So <laughs> yeah, I'm really interested in picking your brain on the, the whole 3D modeling. For sure. Because I feel like once you once you get that locked down, then it opens up access to all these tools. Yeah. So we got more printers into there. We have, we have uh, four of them actually. Um, Are you working with the manager? Are you negotiating all your own deals? Pretty much all um, self-managed. So yeah. Cool man. It's, it's a lot of work. What did you used to do? Were you um, yeah, so I was a uh, make, I was a product developer at a company that made projectors. But I I, uh, I helped work on designing uh, digital projectors um, by the company that used to make IMAX projectors. Okay. So IMAX actually, when IMAX went from film to digital, they had their projectors made by Christie Digital, which is actually a local Kitchener company, which is the world leader in digital projection technologies. Hmm. Like they're one of the biggest, most movie theaters you go to, it's a Christie projector. And then this is the original laser cutter. You st how often do you use this? Oh, uh, we still use it probably on a daily basis. Okay. Um, so it's it's still super useful. That's the one I, one I, I, I want definitely... to ask you is like your must-haves. Like which tools would you consider like the staples? You have? Yeah, if I, if I was to start again, I'd probably get a 3D printer, plasma cutter, and welding equipment. If I had enough money, plasma table. Right. So yeah. So this is for cutting wood and plastics. Yeah. Um, so it can like cut little, like little puzzle boxes. Yeah. So it's puzzle? great for doing electrical. Um, um, boxes for like smell. little projects and whatnot. And the neat thing with this is this is generated from a website called makercase.com. You literally say, I want a box that measures eight inches by 12 inches by four inches, and it automatically makes the plans for you with the cutout. You hit print, you can hot glue it together. Really? So it's just another one of those like super convenient things. My frustration with YouTube is the, the projects I'm really passionate about and feel like really good about, 
are the ones that don't are, get watched. Yep. They don't get promoted. They don't get any revenue. And then I'll do something where I'm like, this is really stupid. Yep. I almost feel bad about posting it. And then it'll just go viral. Yep. I, I have the exact same issue. And that's you know, why yeah. we're trying to do one day projects as well, because it's just like, why do we spend hundreds of hours engineering something to have it fall flat on its face? Because that's the problem. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much time you put into a project. It's how you present it and how cool it is. Yeah. Um, I want to know about your Captain America suit, though. That's legit. Yeah, you, um, that came like from that? Killer Body, um, Chinese company. It's licensed, so it is. A, it's a pretty legit costume, and we we weathered it to make it look even better. So when, when we walk over there, you'll see we uh, we actually tore holes you like in it. You like rub it in the dirt, stuff. and yeah. Yeah, a bit of black spray paint, brown shoe You know, polish. I was looking at your pictures from your photo shoot, and I was like, this uh, yeah it looks very realistic. Yeah. So one one of the cool features we added, um, which we saw in a screenshot from the movie before the movie came out is this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So some people said it was like vibranium scales or something. It was something that was never even mentioned in the movie, but we literally ripped holes in, found this material, glued it in, and made it look like it's actually inside the entire suit. That is cute. So yeah. it's funny you mention this. So we are looking at industrial properties now because we want to expand. We don't have enough room. Like This is actually only half the team right now. And it's already getting crowded in here. I don't know, look around. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, this is Evan, he's our video editor. What's up, Evan? And then, uh, Good to meet you, too. We've also got Benjamin, who uh, does electronics engineering as well. Oh, awesome. But uh, anyways, we're torn between trying to find a farm to buy, because a farm means we'd have lots of outdoor space for big projects, mm -hmm. or an industrial property in an actual industrial district. Well, I'm totally gonna, not planning that. I'm going to be honest, man. I'm pretty <laughs> impressed and pretty jealous of the setup that you got here. This Thanks. is amazing. This really is. And I, I love how secluded it is. <laughs> it's so amazingly industrial and yet hidden totally in the backyard. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, there's your next trick is to make an Iron Man suit that's got muscle definition. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That would, uh, that would be quite the challenge. <laughs> Can I see your pod? Yeah. Let's see how this rolls. This was actually, this was the very first example of being able to build a really cool project because of a sponsorship. And we were really excited about it because it was just like, I love it wait, too. we can get paid to make something cool that we get to keep afterwards? Like literally in my house, I'm going to have one of these just because sometimes <laughs> you just need to get away where it's quiet it's, in a dark it's awesome. air conditioned. It's... There we go. Can I step up and take a look in? Yeah, go for I just want to see what motors you're, how are you driving that? It's actually a garage door opener. <laughs> it's literally a garage door opener strapped to the bottom. Really? Yep. And then all the tech in it is literally just consumer tech that has uh, apps for Android or iPhone or whatever, and we just have it all controlled by that tablet. Now this isn't a one day build. <laughs> no. Did you conceptualize it? Uh, Ian actually designed this one. Because it's like, That's a lot of stuff we can cool. talk about like when it's more casual, it's like yeah, yeah. companies you're working with, ad agencies, you know, experiences, numbers. Definitely. Awesome. And with that, we'll cut. <laughs> Secret meeting time. Secret meeting. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to sign my robot arm? Let's go. Whoa. Can you just put like a big NR, maybe? Yeah. 
Hurry up, boy. I'll pass it down. Thank you. <laughs> Good boy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Grant came up for a few days to learn a bit more about engineering and taught me a bunch about how to run my business better. Unfortunately, we've got to shoot an outro, so let me be the first to say, if you're not subscribed to The King of Random yet, head on over to his channel and do so. He's a great guy and his channel produces some awesome content. Let's give him over 10 million subscribers. And if you guys want to see some more behind the scenes content, check out our vlog channel. We have another video right here featuring both Grant Thompson and Evan frickin' Kale. And yes, we might do a collab someday.